guys. I expected to be uh, filming this a little bit earlier. Sorry for, I think it's a little dark, but I'm kind of losing daylight here. So I'm going to go ahead and get this started. This is the Dollar Tree haul from the other day when I did the shop with me. So these are the things that I actually ended up picking up really quickly so that I can go ahead and put it outside. I picked this up. I just thought it was really pretty and it just kind of goes with the rest of my 4th of July stuff that we have out. And this is just a garden steak type thing. So I'm just going to put it into one of our um, pots that is out there. So I just thought it was pretty. Sorry I'm out of breath. I was out <laughs> with the dogs uh, washing them up and giving them food and everything. Um, <clears throat> got these socks in this color and in this color. And just let me tell you, these are just amazing. If you all um, run into these at the Dollar Tree I really recommend that you pick a few up, just kind of try them out. They're, they have like extra cushioning right on the bottom part of the foot where you really need it. And then it, it's thinner up in here and a little more breathable. And they're, um, they're not no-show socks, but they're, they're, they're lower. They're shorter socks than what it, you know, for the summer or whatever. But I'm just always, I always have to wear socks because I have a lot, I have tile throughout the house other than one of the bedrooms. So these are just amazing. And from, from what I understand, um, Free Spirited Sarah had stated that some of her subs had told her that there are, there are available in other colors. I only found these two and one other one that's probably like this pink, but I went ahead and just picked these two up. But I'm hoping that I can find the black and the navy and the gray that's apparently available um, in other stores. So I'm going to try to check it out this week and see if I can find them because these are really good. And I want them in every color because they're great. And for a dollar, they are Greenbrier, but they seem to be really good socks. I went ahead and picked this up again because I really liked the one that I got. And I'm not having any issues with breakouts or anything. The scent is really light. So I picked up another one. I really like it. I know you all have seen it. I had not seen it at my store. But I went ahead and picked up this towel. It's all, all of me loves all of you. <laughs> and I just thought it was so precious. They have others. But this is the one that I liked. And they're kind of like um, flower sack material. In fact, they say flower sack towel on them, but they're so cute. I'm not going to use these. I'm just going to use it for more like a decorative type thing. I'm not going to use it, but I just think they're so cute. Um, I picked up another set of socks. These are short, the no-shows, and they're tacos. <laughs> so I thought that was cute. And then in addition to the taco set, you also get a navy and gray stripe set. So... I just thought these were cute. They had others, but this was the one that I liked. I'm a sock girl, in case y'all haven't figured that out yet. I'm definitely a sock girl. Um, let's see. <clears throat> the other fun thing, and I had I had talked about these in the the um, shop with me that I have. It's it should be in my list of videos. But this was one of the bags that I had shown you all, and I just had to take it. This is smaller than the mason jar and all those ones that we'd all been hauling. But I'm thinking like for birthdays, this is perfect. And it's just so cute because Popeye is um, surfing instead of sailing. And then the flaps are the same. The back is the same. And then the bottom is a solid blue color. So I just thought this was super cute and I couldn't leave it behind. They had, if you look at my um, shop with me, they had other, other, um, designs and different options for you. Some of them were kind of throwback to like the 80s and 90s. This is Mighty Mouse. This is a little before my time, but I still remember seeing older um, cartoons and I just thought it was super cute. This would be cute for a boy um, birthday maybe. And again, same thing, same color, same, you know, same design on the same on everything. And then the bottom is like a navy color. A dark dark navy but anyway again these are really good and they're the solid you can reuse them you could even use them maybe at the market for like I don't know your vegetables or something uh, you know and so many stores are already getting to where they 
charge you for bags. So um, definitely something to think about picking up. I just pick up bags quite a bit. I use them at Sprouts. I also found washi, and this was in my um, shop with me as well. <clears throat> so I just thought it was super cute. Little birds. It's just cute. And it's not, it's new to me. I hadn't seen it. I don't know if anyone else has hauled it, but I had not seen it. I picked up some clean wipes just for my lenses for our cameras and our glasses. I picked up some Lysol disinfecting wipes. I just use these. I usually buy these, you know, um, bigger packs at the store, but we're going, uh, we're going out of town. We're traveling and I think these would just be good. And there's only 15 in here, but that, that'll do for me because I need to pack light. So I can't be packing big old things. I picked this up at Stay Wild. This, this has been here, but I finally found a purpose for it. So I have, I have plans for this and I'm going to go ahead and use it. It's for my, a bunch of markers that I had picked up. And then I did pick up some scrunchies. Um, they're back in style. I never really stopped using them. I, I put them on my hair for, you know, when it, it comes time to washing my face at night and that sort of thing. But, um, I needed more. I just, after a while, I don't know, they just disappear on me. But yes, once I get home, I take down my hair and I put usually these on. And that's what I wear during the evenings and stuff because they're just much more comfortable. But I'm glad they're back because it was hard to find these. And I just had to, I just had to. Another pen. Look at that. It's an, it's a Norwell. And then here's the little, <laughs> the, the other side of the face. So there's the back and the other side. And I did get another one. They did have other um, designs, but these two were my favorite. And I have someone in mind for this pen. And then the other thing is they're a little thicker. I like the fatter pens. Um, they're a little thicker up in here. So I'm probably going to actually use this to write with. Probably not as much just decorative. I'm going to use it probably. But I just think they're super cute. Uh, let's see. Just simple. I always pick up a paper towel or two. The Viva is a little bit thicker uh, for multi-surface type thicker cloths. So sometimes I'll pick these up. Sometimes I pick up the bigger paper towels. But I always throw one in the cart because I always have to have them. The other thing I did was I found these in the 25 cent bin. And they're just Tic Tacs. Fresh mint. And you get three pack. And they were only a quarter. So, uh, you know, I'm sure they don't really expire. They say they're best buy is the end of this month, the end of June, but come on now. I mean, it's just fresh mint Tic Tacs. I should be fine even past that. And I just like to keep these at my desk, maybe one in my purse. And then I ran across these two for a quarter as well. And what I like to do is I always have a dish of candy at my off at the office and I fill up the candy dish and these just get picked up by everyone and these are just cinnamon plain old cinnamon flavored discs and I've had them before there's nothing wrong with them and they they'll just go right in as a filler show all the other candies that I have and then I had hauled let's see I think that's it for quarters for the quarter stuff yeah um now I'm to food items and I had hauled these before these big bars and um, my son loves them. So I went ahead and picked this up. I think I picked another one up, but I, I believe my son already got into it. <clears throat> Let's see. Oh, no. Here's, here's the other one. And then I did pick up a strawberry bar as well. So the strawberry and then the figs. The two fig bars. So, okay. So those will, and they'll, the expiration are, is 9, um, 26 of 19 on the um, fig bars. And then on the strawberry ones, I'm not sure. But they were in the newer, um, in with the new stuff. So I'm sure that this is fine. I can't see the expiration right now. But I know I had made it a point to check the fig bar ones. 
and I know that I can put them in the in the pantry or whatever. He's already eaten through the last ones that I hauled, though. I also picked these up, these breakfast biscuits. These are cinnamon and brown sugar flavor. Um, so I'm hoping that we like these. I just thought it'd be nice for just some coffee or tea or something in the morning. Sometimes we just don't, we don't feel like an actual breakfast. So just to kind of carry us through into lunch, this and my coffee and tea or whatever. Um, this is kind of a repeat buy. I pick these up all the time. My son and my husband like mashed potatoes a lot. And I just grab these and they can just make them or whatever right before or for dinner or whatever. I usually do a meal prep of main dishes. I think I've said this before. And so they can just do sides like vegetable out of the freezer and then this and then they're good to go. And I feel better about it because they're eating, they're eating okay. Um, <clears throat> I had hauled this before, the exact same one, creamy Parmesan, and I really liked it. Um, what I did was we, I had actually made it when we did our scrapbooking. Um, my friend and I did our scrapbooking thing and that's in my videos as well. And I had made this salad and we had added garbanzo beans and olives to it and Parmesan cheese and cherry tomatoes and cucumbers, like chopped up English cucumbers. And this turned out really well. But even if you just made it with whatever's in here, it's really good salad. And the box is bigger than the normal um, suddenly salad ones that are always at Dollar Tree. So I really, I thought this was a better deal and I picked it up to try it out and then I got it. Because I liked it, I went ahead and picked up another one this last time. So I'm happy about that and I'm just going to keep it in the pantry and we'll have it for a decent little salad one day. And again, the expirations on these are not bad. 9, 19 of 20. I'll definitely use it before September. I like salads and that sort of thing. And what I'll do is I'll make the pasta salad it lasts me all week, and then I'll just put like a little, like maybe half a cup with my salad or whatever to just kind of stretch it out. And also, it's just not as many carbs. Um, <clears throat> my son loves these. And like I said, we're going on a trip. I also have a birthday that's coming up, and my friend likes these. So I got three. Three sweetheart cherry, and these are, these are really good. Uh, couponing girl turned me on to these and ever since ever since um, we love them so I, I wish they would come out with better flavors if anybody knows if there's other flavors let me know I picked this up also for the candy dish at work and there's one girl in particular that goes into the office that all she's always picking out this one here so there's a raspberry that her favorite is a raspberry I like the strawberry banana so it kind of works for everyone. <laughs> and I'll just mix it in with the cinnamon and the chocolates that I do usually buy. The other thing I hauled is this fudge mint, uh, fudge mint cookies. And um, they do taste like Thin Mints. They're a lot like Thin Mints. I did open this box and we did try them out. They come in sleeves of two though. So we have one whole sleeve and like, I don't know, three quarters of the other one left. But um, they do taste a lot like Girl Scout Thin Mints. The only thing is these are a little bit more, like they're a little bit more crunch, like softer, like, I don't know how to explain it. The Thin Mints are a little bit harder, I guess. These are a little more crumbly, I guess is the best way to describe it. But they do have a really good taste. They do, they do taste like the Thin Mints. So I am going to probably buy another couple of boxes and keep these in the freezer because that's what I do with the Thin Mints. So I'm going to do it with these. And these don't expire until January 15th of 2020. So again, this is a good deal. You could even put these in the pantry instead of the freezer. Um, <clears throat> I haul these. Some people might not agree, but my son likes them just kind of as a snack. And so I always just keep these in the pantry for him, just like a little whatever. He likes to eat them with crackers and sometimes he'll just pop the can and open and eat it. We're also going on uh, some little camping trips. So these are always good to just, you know, pack just for, you know, whatever, just quick little snacks if they get hungry. And then I had hauled this before and I just drank it because I was super thirsty. They had it in the fridge in their little refrigerated section. And I had drank some of it and I love this. This, this is cranberry. But it's not as tangy as the regular red cranberry. 
and I just love it. So I'm actually going to go and get more. I only found the one, but I'm going to go and get more and hopefully they'll have it. And if not, I did see it at the 99 cent only store, but I had already gotten this one. So I didn't want to be like, whatever. So I went ahead and got this one and then I'm going to probably pick more up. Probably at Dollar Tree. I don't like 99 cent store and I don't even know if it was a dollar 99 or 99. So that's kind of why I prefer not to shop there. But that's my own deal. I don't know how everyone else feels. But if you see me with 99 only, it's because my friend and I went together. I don't normally go in there myself unless there's a specific reason <laughs> to go in there. Um, the other thing that I picked up was just a simple yellow cake mix. Um, I don't know. It's just for the pantry. It's good to have. I know sometimes they can be cheaper at the grocery, but I was there. I saw it. Simple yellow cake mix. I have frosting already from the store. And again, this doesn't expire until April 9th, 2020. So just something good to just keep in the pantry for, for the boys to just make something at home. And finally, I went ahead and picked this up. <laughs> this is the French vanilla coffee from Dollar Tree. It is a Greenbrier product. And I tried it. And I like it. I really like it. It wouldn't be my favorite um by you know but it is good it's good flavored coffee i'm probably going to go ahead and try the regular flavor because this is the french vanilla like i said uh, but i mean you get four, supposedly 40 cups what i did was i i made an entire pot of it and my husband liked it too he didn't mind it it's not bad coffee. Um, if you're in a pinch for some reason, you're trying to, you know, you run out of coffee and you just happen to be between paychecks or whatever, whatever, you know, your deal is, I, I would totally try this again. Um, and I, like I said, I might go ahead and try the regular just to see if I like it. So I did make it. I tried it plain and then I did go ahead and put some Coffee Mate French Vanilla to just give it some more flavor. It's not super strong French Vanilla, but I could taste the French Vanilla in it. And the coffee is a light roast. So if you like light roast, this is fine. Um, I tend to do more dark roast, but this is not bad. It really isn't. And I would not hesitate to buy it again. Um, so we'll see how the regular one goes. But I'm definitely going to try it out again, the red one. And then I might just pick this up again. I think that's it for my haul, guys. And I'll, I'll see you probably next week sometime. Um, probably midweek. But I hope you all have a good rest of your weekend, what's left of it. And if I don't happen to come on until the 4th of July, happy 4th of July. And take care and be safe. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.